Ah, if it isn't our very own TV's The X-Files, any luck catching that Afro-reported mythical mountain monster? Yeah, on this occasion it was a greyhound and a cheetah pink onesie. What's this? Uh, harsh chemicals to increase brucolosity by 15%, from bogging brown to crystalline cobalt. Harsh chemicals? The fish aren't going like that. Crime me a river. I Exposing stuff from the park is extremely forbidden, believe me. How about in exchange for never mentioning this again? I give you your own division of the park, investigating here goings on. You'd make a fraction of double of what you're making now. It's a big decision. Talk over with your family or your trusted associate, Alan J. Parker Looker. I thought we agreed his name was Al Pacacino. We agreed nothing. Came early, sweet, sweetie. Pardon? You've you've came home early, sweetie. Um, I got a promotion, I think. The council's slush fund became my hush fund, and I wanted to pick the mucky magazines out of the bushes as much. Mucky magazines in the park? Yeah, BBC, BBJ, and occasional CCG. Who leaves them there? Mainly bug chasers. I don't understand. Those magazines are left by people that collect insects. Anyway, um, I don't know if I'll take the promotion. Like, I like to think of myself as quite a principled person, which... Gravy train! Gravy train! Well, we're in heretofore untold financial territory. Well, thousand years. Thousand years! Finally, I can get root canal. Adult tasks are so banal. Poor person diet, mouth prone to infection. Now I can afford adequate protection. Well, now, gotta make sure I spent this windfall wisely. Home shopping channel got that smelling device. Hitting up waitrose, artichokes in my basket. Leisure class life, too rich for the casket. Thousand years never die! die. That was good. I mean, if anyone saw it, I would kill them and then myself. I feel we've disposed of enough income from now. <laughs> I can cut. Indubitably. Splendid. I'll get dinner in. Let's see. Caviar? <laughs> that job blow of depleted uranium is bound to go fast. After the hour, we're looking at the Smellitron 9000. Stay tuned, fashion victims. Coming up next, we've got a resident fashion guru the garment merchant, Tam Tim McPherson. <laughs> wow, check this little number. Looks culturally significant. The kilt is a wraparound knee length skirt made of 12 woven, uh, made of 12 woven wool with heavy pleats in the sides and the back, traditionally in a tartan pattern. <laughs> Order one now to unleash the true Scotsman within. A complimentary haggis. I'll kill you. Jones. Don't you go into a fat nautic trance where the only thing you'll live for is to serve and feed your great fat god. Deep into this. We are. 
Sharon and a fat Nautic trans. What are you so blanket for? I'm Hank Marvin, which means starving. Any scran on the go, hen? You look good, Brace Nitwit. No, there's not any scran. I'm re-budgeting to see how we have survived the month after you spent all my money on that egregious ensemble. I didn't care about all of that now. I didn't give you a haggling about your crippling addiction to the scratchers, did I? A wee bit of haggis wouldn't go amiss, miss. I'll haggis you. There's vegan haggis in the freezer. Help yourself. <sighs> I'm not touching any of that muck. I need the real meat. It's caber tossing season. You've been tossing your caber regardless of the season. I'm surprised it's taking this long for your palms to go hairy. You make whatever you want. Maybe some scratchers will get us out of this imbroglio. Time to get that body moving. Now make a fist this time, we're gonna make it tough. Remember the procedure is, you gotta warm up the body before you start any kind of activity. You're walking, running, body. Make sure it's safe. Now turn it around, here we go. Put it up and down, all right? Up and down. Give us your range of motion today. That's okay. If it's up to here, that's okay. Do good. Now push up to the ceiling. Good. You're doing it, come on. Exercise is good for you! Don't take my word for it! Try it! Let's go! Up and down. Alright, now it's gonna be upright right here. Put it up and down. Yeah. You know the view. On the roof. In the boat! Margaret, I fear your gloomy countenance is on this occasion all but appropriate. Al Pacchino is dead. That I'm going to Lemkin and so forth. That was never his name. What happened? Foxes, alienated youths. No chance. This was the Wolver, or possibly the Kelpies. Preternatural forces are afoot. Rather fortuitous, I don my hunting ensemble, complete with blunderbuss. Your bizarrely affected speech certainly supports my supernatural suspicions. But this isn't a hunt. Whatever done this was likely frightened and lost. Let's, Let's go. go. It's intelligent. I mean, relatively. It's in pain. Yes. And it's uttering complete gobbledygook. Case of the mange. I'll put the poor blight out of his misery, shall I? No, don't. Let me speak to it. Mm, very well. But should it appear feral upon its ass, I will go old school. How old school? Around 1926 should suffice. <laughs> 